So, how to use jumper cables, or jumper wires, rather. Jumper wires are these little skinny wires that are used to attach pins from one device to another. And there's three types, depending on what is at the ends of them. So, as you can see, this one is a minus minus. It has places to stick in a small pin on both ends. This one is a plus minus, so it has at one end a small needle-shaped wire sticking out and then a place to put it in at this end. So if you wanted to, you could just connect it like that. And they stay together. And then there's one with a pointy wire coming out of both ends. These are all the same color, but they're all different types of wire. So on here, one of the reasons we chose the ring bit is that it has these pins, so you don't have to use alligator clip cables for everything. So if I were to connect this to something and wanted to use pin zero. I would use different colors. The color doesn't really matter, but there are certain colors that come off of various components. Here you can see there's a red, a yellow, and a black. Those all have a different purpose. Here's a different version of three colors. This is a brown, a red, and an orange coming off of this servo. Different colors, but they serve basically the same set of jobs. One of the things that's complicated about electronics like this is that we use many different ways to show the same thing. So you could say signal plus and minus, and the signal is the information carrying wire. On here, it's the yellow. The plus is the voltage, the electricity positive coming in, that's positive, which is red. And then there's the ground, which is negative, and that's black. And there's also different ways of saying this. You can say signal positive and negative. You can say signal three volts and ground, GND. That's what it says on here, 3V and GND. Or you can say zero VG. Zero is a specific pin, because here it says zero VG. And they're also different colors. So as you saw in here, this one is yellow, red, and black for signal, voltage, and ground. On the servo, it is orange, red, and brown, still signal, voltage, ground. The thing to remember basically is this general rule. The lightest color is always the signal wire, the darkest color is always the ground wire, and red is in the middle, that's the voltage wire, it's pretty universal. So, for example, if I wanted to connect this servo to the zero pin on here, I would need, so these are minus, minus, minus over here, and these are plus, plus, plus. So I would need a double-ended wire that has one end that is ready to see, receive and then one with the wire coming out of it. So if I want to keep this the same, brown, red, orange, and it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to peel off the end here. So I get a red, an orange, yellow. Color doesn't matter that much, but I can leave them together, which is kind of convenient because these are all together. So I'll line up the orange with the orange, goes in there. Then I will line up the red with the red, goes in the middle. And yellow over here. Actually, yellow is going to be ground. 
And the reason I'm doing different colors here is just because I don't want people fighting over specific colors because there's really only a couple per set of wires. That is the middle. Okay, so those go in like that, and the servo is now attached. Oh, just kidding. Okay, now it's attached. Those are all in the right places. This is here. They're connected. So all I have to do is put the code on here, and the servo will spin.